Hey, what's up guys? Hey everyone. Hey sir, let me introduce myself. My name is Nautika. In this video, I want to retell about urban legend story. The title is, let's get started. The American Pepper. Mommy, mommy, shouted little Mona, racing from the front door through the kitchen. There is a parcel. The postman poked a parcel. Her mother, Sophie, looked at her in a surprise. She had no idea who could have sent them a parcel. Maybe it was a mistake. She hurried to the door to find out. Sure enough, the postman was there, holding a parcel about the size of a small brick. From America, madam, he said. See, America Sam! It was true, in the top right hand corner of the brown paper parcel where there is a strange looking stamp showing a man's head. The package was addressed to Safni in big clear black letters. So I suppose it must be from Great Aunt Pasni, said Safni to herself as the postman went on his way down the street. Although it must be 20 years since we heard anything from her. I thought she would have been dead by now. Safni's husband, Jonas, and her son, Arinas, were just coming in from the garden, where Murna had run to tell them about the parcel. Well, open it then, said Arinas impatiently. Let's see what's inside, setting the parcel down in the middle of the table. Safni carefully began to tear open the paper. Inside, there was a large silver container with a hinged lid, which was tapped shut. There was also a letter. What is this? What is it? demanded Murna impatiently. It is a prison? I have no idea, said Safni in confusion. I think it must be from Great Aunt Pasni. She went to America almost three, 30 years. But we have not heard from her in 20 years. Perhaps the letter will tell us. She opened the vault, paid cautiously, then looked up in dismay. Well, this is no help, she said in annoyance. It is written in English. How does she expect us to read English? We are poor people. We have no education. Maybe Pasni has forgot her native language after 30 years in America. Well, open the pot, anyway, said Jonas. Let's see what's inside. Cautiously, Safni pulled the tap from the neck of the silver pot and opened the lid. Foreheads touched off the pot and the container as their owner stared down inside. Straight, said Arinas. All I see is powder. The pot was about one third full of a kind like gray powder. What's it? asked Murna. We don't know, darling, said Safni, her mother, stalking her daughter's hair. What do you think, Murna? Murna stared again into the pot. I think it's coffee, she announced finally. American coffee! It is wrong color for coffee, darling said Jonas Tofu. But maybe she is on the right track. It must some kind of food. Murna by now had her nose right down in the pot. Suddenly, she lifted her head, sneezed loudly. I do good up by douche, she explained. That's it, said Arinas. It must be pepper. Let me try some. Dipping a finger in the border and lick at it. He said, it is a pepper, all right, mild, but quite tasty. It is an American pepper. All right, said Sophie. Well, try it on the stew tonight. We will have American style stew. That evening, the Wool family agreed that the American pepper had a dead special extra taste to their usual evening stew. They were delighted with it. By the end of the week, there was only a teaspoon of the grey powder left in the silver container. Then Sapni called to help. 
We are saving the last bit of Sunday. Dr. Harris is coming to dinner and we will let him have some a special treat. Then it will be finished. The following Sunday, the Wolf family put on their best clothes, ready for dinner with Dr. Harris. He was the local doctor and he had become a friend of the family many years before. When he had saved Arina's life after an accident. Once every couple of months, Safni invite the doctor for dinner and they all look forward to his entertaining stories of his yacht at the university in the capital. During dinner, Safni explained to the doctor about the mysterious American paper, the last of which she had put in the stew they were eating, and the latter they called not with Give it to me, give it to me, said the doctor briskly. I speak English, I can translate it for you. Safni broke the letter and the family waited. As the doctor began to translate, is there Safni? You don't know me, but I am the son of your old great aunt Pasni. She never talked much to us about the old country, but in her final illness earlier this year, she told us that after her death, she wanted her ashes to be sent back home to you, so that you could scatter them on the hills of the country where she was born. My mother died two weeks ago and her funeral and cremation took place last week. I am sending her ashes to you in a silver case. Please do as she asks and spread them over the ground near where she was born. Your cousin, George Lirney. Thank you guys for listening to my story. I think, um, thank you so much for listening me carefully i hope you enjoy thank you goodbye